Hey there, check out this video for the five best seated leg exercises you can do right at home. Hey there, Coach Tanya here at the Critical Bench Compound and in this video today I'm going to share with you my five top leg exercises you can do right at home using some resistance. Now I am going to demo each of the exercises and then we're going to go right into the follow along. But before I show you each of those, I do want to mention a few things. Um, if you're wondering how sitting down doing exercises can be of any benefit, there's a couple there's a couple reasons or there's a couple audiences that this would actually appeal to. If you are rehabilitating because you've been injured or you're hurt, if you're elderly or you're someone who struggles with balance, you know, sitting and doing exercises is a great way to stay active and actually, you know, exercise your body and do your body some good. Also, if you are someone who maybe has um, quite a bit of extra body weight uh, that you're trying to work around, you're trying to lose a, quite a bit of excess body fat, Starting seated might be the best start for you because movement might be quite difficult for you. So because you see somebody doing exercises or working out using a chair, um, don't just count that, okay? Let's give, let's give them credit for the fact that they are actually moving and doing something. All right, so resistance. Now when we talk about resistance, resistance is basically you know anything that resists your body weight, okay? So it forces you to use your muscle, muscles hmm, and stresses them out. Now, if you don't have equipment, now I'm going to be using dumbbells, I'm going to be using a medicine ball um, bands because I have access to all of this and I love it. However, go raid your pantry. If you've got even some soup cans or water bottles, anything that has weight, you can use as a weight to do many of the exercises. All right, the first exercise I have for you actually requires no weights, just your chair. Um, and they are just simple leg extensions. So come to the edge of your chair if you need to, you know, hang whatever's more comfortable for you. Either hold the chair for stability or your hands on your on your legs. But basically, extend out, hold it three, two, one, and lower. Do the same with the other leg, three, two, one, and we're going to do those for 20 total. For our second exercise, we're going to do leg abductions. And again, you don't need any equipment or anything. Just your chair. Come to the edge of the seat again. And this exercise builds on the first one. So a leg extension, move out to the side, in and down. We're gonna do that for 10 to 12 reps each leg. Exercise number three, weighted calf raises. Now this is a great, uh, a great exercise where if you don't have weights, grab soup cans, um, you can grab a medicine, but anything with weight, all right, that you can just rest on your knees or on each knee individually to add weight to the legs. I'm gonna grab the dumbbells. And I've got them securely on my knees. I'm towards the edge of my chair a bit. And simply a calf raise is all, you know, it is what it sounds like. Lift and lower and lift and squeeze and lower. And we're gonna do 10 to 12 of those as well. Okay, for this next exercise, you're going to need a band. And we're gonna do hip adductors. Slide that around, around your legs here. Have it just above the kneecap. So feet far enough apart that there's already some tension in that band, okay? And what you're going to do is squeeze out and in and out. Now, even when you're coming in, you want to make sure you're leaving a little tension, okay? You don't want to come all the way in so the band is totally relaxed. So keep that tension. That's your start. Moving outward, back to start. Moving outward, back to start. 10 to 12 reps. All right, this last exercise is a little bit challenging, but I know you can do it. Now you do need something again that has weight. I'm gonna use a medicine ball, you can use a dumbbell, you can grab a soup can, you can grab a water bottle, you can grab whatever you want that you can hold safely and securely while doing the exercise. I, I just made up the name of this, I call it a seated sumo. So you're gonna be at the edge of your chair. Now your feet, your legs are about shoulder width apart, feet at about a 45 degree angle. You wanna hold your weight just out in front of you and what you're going to do is, you might have to bring your heels back a little bit, okay? Lift and hold in that squat position, three, two, one. Lower back down and lift again, three, two, one. Hold and you'll start to feel a nice burn in your quads and we're going to do 10 to 12 of those as well.
All right, there you go. My top five seated leg exercises you can do right at home using some resistance. You know what? I hope you like that little program and I hope you actually give it a try. It's a really, really great exercise program. My name is Tanya here at Critical Bench. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Any comments or questions you have for me, please put them below. If you haven't done so already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for thousands more videos to have you looking and feeling your absolute best, just like these ones right here.